just finished frosting this window for you, and we did it on video because we thought that might be helpful. And um, one little explanation on the back end is that if you see us, um, you see me frosting this one from far away, but then when we get a close-up, it jumps to me doing something to this one. It's just because we filmed all the far away shots while I did this window, and then we did some detail shots while I did other windows. So um, we just edit it together in an order that makes sense. So if you follow it in this order, ignore the crazy jumping to different panes, and hopefully it will help you frost your windows at home. So we're using this privacy uh, window film from Home Depot. You can get this container there. I think maybe it's $19, but it lasts forever. We did like a whole glass side door. We did our bathroom window, and now we're doing this window with it. Um, what you do first is you cut a pane that's slightly larger, a piece that's slightly larger than your pane. In this case, it's not one big pane. It's four small ones in each of the two windows. So see how this is a little bit bigger than this? That's the first step is just to measure your window pane and cut from the film. And what I did is I used one as a template to make a bunch of them. So I made eight all at once. That's easier than measuring, cutting, measuring, cutting, measuring, cutting. You just measure once and cut eight and then you can see that they work on all the windows with a little bit of excess. Okay, so the second step is, let's see if I can do this smoothly. You peel off the protective covering. Can you see that through there? You peel this off so that this sticky part is, um, I guess, unveiled. And then John is going to spray it. Because the third step is that you spray the window and the sticky stuff with this stuff. In front of your this paint? Yeah. So everything should be kind of wet so it moves around. And you'll see how it sticks to the window. So that is sort of the midpoint of the process. It looks terrible at first, but that's normal. Okay, so once you have it on there, you use some sort of credit card. This is the Barnes & Noble Kids Club card that we have from my wallet. And you sort of um, use that as a straight edge to jam all the bubbles out of it. I don't know how clearly this is going to show up on the video, but lots of the liquid is being pushed to the sides and out the cracks so that it's, it's laying much more flat. But if you're doing this at home, it might not lay perfectly flat right away. A lot of that comes when you trim out the sides. So the next step is I just take an X-Acto knife like this and I try to drag this as closely as possible to the trim. You don't want a gap between the film and the window. So you want to sort of hug the window as much as you can with the knife and cut off the excess. So I'm sort of um, sticking the point of this knife into the area where the trim meets the window. So this is the excess that I've cut off and now it has a nice close line to the top and I'll do this again just to push out any moisture that's still trapped in the edge and get a nice clean line. So then you just do that around the rest of the panes and you continue covering each of the panes and then you have a frosted window. Okay, so now that I've cut it all, I go over it with my little credit card one more time and I squeeze out any air bubbles. And when you let it dry, it sort of shrinks up. So you might still have like very small air bubbles in certain areas. But once that liquid inside dries, it sort of shrink wraps to the window. So it only looks cleaner afterwards. And if you have any air bubbles, I've heard you can pop them by tapping an X-Acto on them. I've never done it because I'm stubborn enough to keep working until I get them out. Because I'm nervous about having a little cut in the frosting. Though. 